<laughs> Just roll film. Are you rolling? Yes. Okay, here's the lowdown. Not the down low, the lowdown on visiting Stone Town in Zanzibar. We were making, we, oh God. Here's the bottom line up front. Hmm. <laughs> Hi friends, here's the bottom line up front on visiting Stone Town in Zanzibar. <laughs> no? Hi friends! Okay, seriously, we recommend two to four nights. We only stayed for two nights and it's not enough. There's too many awesome restaurants, tea houses, lounges. You need at least four nights and you gotta try a new restaurant every two hours of the day. Second thing, lodging, 50 bucks a night will get you really nice accommodations. We paid like 40 bucks a night. We were super comfortable. Um, and that's it. This might be the most unique and interesting city we've ever been to in our entire lives. Walking around Stone Town early in the morning, there won't be a lot of activity. It'll be a very calm, peaceful place to walk around. The alleys will be open. You won't have to dodge motorbikes like what just passed behind me. So I recommend getting up early and taking a walk around. You can enjoy the architecture. And then after about an hour or two, when everyone wakes up, all the shops open up, the energy really goes up. And then you can enjoy some shopping or just interacting with the locals. So in Stone Town, in Zanzibar overall, you know, you're six degrees south of the equator, so it's hot year round. It's gonna be hot if you're so close to the equator. Pop into one of the rooftop bars or restaurants like we are now. There's always a breeze up here because it's actually pretty windy on Zanzibar, the island itself. Um, and so it's cooler and you've got these really awesome panoramic views. The cuisine, the cuisine has to be spoken about in Stone Town. There's so many different types of restaurants. It may not be the healthiest thing, but I recommend that you pop into a new rooftop restaurant or cafe or somewhere to get some ice cream every hour, hour and a half. It's not gonna be a healthy day, <laughs> but you really, yeah, you just get cocktails, get ice cream, uh, plan maybe going to one of the Emerson restaurants for food, and then where you're gonna have cocktails that night because it's just one of the most impressive things, these rooftop restaurants and it's, so right now we're in the middle of what was previously known as Stella Market, today known as Darjani Market. As we take you through, you'll notice you can buy pretty much any kind of produce or meat or vegetables that you want to get here. There's a lot of energy, a lot of hustle and bustle, um, a lot of yelling, a lot of trading, bartering and purchasing and it's mostly locals here, 95% locals. You will see some tourists and if you're okay with bumping into people that might be covered in blood and guts from slaughtering a chicken, you generally just feel a little uncomfortable if you're not used to this, then you should definitely come here and check it out because it's really exciting. probably want to spend 15 to half an hour, maybe less, in the Darjani market because it really is kind of an assault on the senses, on the sights, on the smells, on the feelings that people will be touching you by accident. Um, but I think it's a really cool cultural experience to see how the locals come here and how they barter and trade and where they get their produce and their meat and everything, whether it's for their family or whether it's for a restaurant, a local restaurant. Really cool experience. Recommend it. There's people looking at me and stuff, so I'm waiting. <laughs> It's always the case when I want to talk, people stop and look at me like, what's he going to say? Okay, this is what I'm going to say. Well, you might be wondering, why do they call it Stone Town? Well, let's think about it for a second. This is an island. There's no rock quarries, there's no mountains, and they certainly, back when Stone Town was built by the Sultans of Oman, they were not bringing in rock from mountains. So, coral. They use coral. And a lot of the buildings are kind of degraded now and falling apart, and you can actually see the exposed coral with the reddish tint 
here. That's what they use to build the majority of Stone Town, and that's why Stone Town is a UNESCO World Heritage Site, and a lot of buildings there's uh, written in laws to protect them and try to keep them restored and maintained. And um, it's really interesting. <laughs> For lunch and dinner, we can recommend Emerson's. It's two different hotels built on restored palaces here in Stonetown. Um, both of them have a tea house restaurant on the roof like you see us at now. Really nice traditional Swahili seating or they have standard seating with tables. Um, a little pricier than some of the other restaurants, but we just started eating and the food is really, really good. At the other hotel, Emerson Spice. Um, this is Emerson at Harumzi, but at Emerson Spice, they have a secret garden. We're gonna try to get reservations for dinner there tonight. We'll see if that works out. But really good food. You can't go wrong. You can order whatever you want. Don't worry about uh, safety concerns. Just dig in. I don't really do spicy food at all. If you know me well, like if you're one of my friends, you know I don't do spice. But it's very rare that you come across something that Maggie can't handle, and it just entertains me. This is fresh chili. Too, too hot to eat. It's just spicy. Yeah, just a little bit. Very safe walking around Stone Town at night. There's security cameras that are pointed down everywhere, and um, whether it's a dark alley or a lit street, you can feel comfortable walking around. And people are pretty friendly too, but I still don't talk to them if it's in a dark alley. We're at the Secret Garden restaurant, which is part of the Emerson uh, trio chain, if you will. Um, you can hear the prayers behind me right now, and we're the first people here. It's Seven o'clock on the roofs. This one's attached to um, a building that is a used to be a palace of one of the sultans, and then this attached structure has kind of crumbled. The palace has been restored, but they couldn't restore this area, so because it crumbled and it was too far gone, they decided to plant all this vegetation and make it like an open air restaurant. So, this is a place that well, with all the Emersons for dinner, you're going to want to make reservations. So, we made a reservation here, um, but you can stop in for lunch at any of their restaurants and usually get a seat. But this, this was our preference because we just really like uh, the design here that they've done. And it's a very authentic stone town feel because as you can see, all of the, all of the walls and the structures are made of the coral, which is what stone town's known for. 